Okay, folks, so as you can see, we are here at the laundry mat. Two birds, one scone. Um, we're gonna teach little man the leash today, okay? And the most important thing is positive experience, right? I'm gonna tell you the mistake people make. They put a leash on around a dog's neck, a little puppy like this, 13 weeks, 14 weeks old, and they just immediately start applying pressure to the neck. It's a very foreign, very new feeling, okay? So we're going to allow the guy to go all over the place, and we're going to use food as the lure to desensitize him to having it on his neck. And if he steers off that way, I'm actually going to let up a little bit. I'm not going to apply too much pressure because I don't want to give him a negative association to the leash right off the rip. Does that make sense? So there's a multitude of things happening here. Yes, I'm shaping a heel, but we're in a new environment to him. He's very new to the world in general. And so the last thing I'm thinking about doing is compulsion work, which in this case, I'm referring to like making him follow me, making him heal, nice loose leash walk. That's not an important phase right now. The important thing is, that I'm paying him for just simply having the leash around his neck. That's all I care about, all right? And if he comes over here and he applies any sort of, you know, any sort of pressure to himself by like veering off too far, I'm gonna let up and as soon as he comes back towards me, I'm gonna give him a piece of food because I want him to positively associate to this leash being on his neck. So if he learns to follow that leash pressure, in a positive fashion, it's likely that he's going to do it a lot quicker for us in the future when we actually start teaching a loose leash heel. And with Joe Lee specifically, I never really taught her to walk in a heel position, but when I have a leash on her, she just follows me around. And I think that's ultimately a result of, you know, how much engagement we do. Like she's always focusing on me and what she wants from me and the food. And there's just tons of positive associations to being on the leash in general. So it's, not, it's just like she just doesn't, she's just not like a difficult dog to handle at six months. So I think all of this type of work right here sort of plays into the big picture, which is like foundation setting, which is the whole entire point of this program, right? We're not gonna jump into like teaching a dog this age to heal, bro. Like not a priority. Positive experience, engagement, loading the marker. You hear that click? Boom. Boom. Reward the dog wilder in the position. Have some fun. You know, have some fun with it. That was through a series of obedience and then a click and pay. I like to switch it up. Consistently inconsistent, which is good in this way, in this regard. Setting up new patterns, shaping new behaviors. Do this, 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 and then get paid, as opposed to just, you know, one thing after the next, which is definitely what we're going to do when we're shaping. There's a sit, okay? There's a heel. There's a front, individually marking and rewarding, as opposed to a spin, a down, a stand, a front, and then pay. You see the difference there? So I like to switch them up. This guy's having a fucking blast learning in this new environment with the washing machines pumping with the leash around his neck. So while the average person may be looking at us right now and not really thinking much of what's happening right now, somebody that knows better knows that the value is limitless right now for this kid. And I just don't see people out here doing this shit. I don't. I've literally never gone to a place unless there was like a dog trainer there and seen people working like this, especially this early on in the dog's life. It's usually just people with their dogs just existing together. There's not a lot of strategic work going on there. Not a lot of foundation setting for the future. The reason why people pay me the big bucks 
is to set the foundation for the future so that they don't have to deal with the difficulty of a dog who is untrained. You know what I mean? Off. Okay, that's good for now. Big win.